other hives over here, a purple one and a yellow one. Uh, the purple one is fairly strong, but when I was checking the yellow one the other day, I found out that it almost all just drone cone. Now, I looked up on the internet what that actually means. It probably means the queen is either dead or is petered out and doesn't have any more eggs to lay. If she's petered out and the drone's being, being laid by one of the unfertilized uh, workers. So what I'm going to try to do is check the purple one. I've already made a split off of it once this year. I'm going to make another split if they have some extra brood over there and bring it over here and try to keep them occupied until they either make their own queen or I can get by a queen and uh, get her transplanted over here. So let's we'll get break into the uh, purple one here and uh, see what we have. Yeah, a little bit of cap breeding here. Some honey. Got a little rack here up on a few of the yeah. frames. They're actually, some pretty handy. Mm -hmm. We're going to lean them up against something. We're going to fall over and crush the bees, maybe the queen. Right, some brood on here. Queen cell on the bottom here. I don't know if that's showing on the camera. Right here that where it's built out. It looks like they're capping one there. One doesn't look like it's hatched out yet. Okay. Let me see if I can find the queen or they have any more cells going. Certainly don't want to, if they don't have a queen in here, I don't want to damage that and have the same problem I have with the yellow one. And if they got some more queen cells, I may move it over there with my yellow one. Alright, the queen cell that's hatched out over here already. Yeah, it looks like they have another one that's about ready to go. For now. There's another block in the camera view here. Part of the reason why I use that uh, spacer on the other one is because it's kind of hard to get the uh, frames out of a full hive here. But one of the disadvantages is they just build a comb wherever they want. They connect them together. Easy lady, sorry. So I haven't really been seeing as much brood in here as I want to see on this hive. Oh, these though. Okay, a little better here. We got some, starting to see some uh, brood in here. And this one's got another hatched out queen cell. And another hatched out queen cell. So we've probably had several swarms this season. Just kind of an inexperienced beekeeper. found the queen yet. The original queen should have like a yeah, green dot on her back. These are the queen cells here and they're about to drone. Not a lot of brood on it. Some. Some brood. I certainly got enough queen cells in here. I think I'll move it over to one of them over to the yellow one. Okay, here's what we're looking for. A bunch of, bunch of brood on this one. On a fairly tight pattern, too. You can see it's not missing very many. So, she's in here somewhere and she's laying. This is more toward the middle where they like to lay. So, since I've seen that, I'm probably, if I can find another one with pretty good brood on it, looks like they're doing okay. I'll take it out with some of those queen cells and move it over to the uh, second one. Yeah, this one's got a good bit of brood on it, too. The thing you want to be careful of, you don't want to 
move your queen to the other one, you got issues. You guys aren't gonna like this. <laughs> you don't want to stay, stay forever with your box open. About 10 minutes to shut up. They get pretty stirred up. Now, this one's just heavy with honey. And this one's heavy with honey. Beach angle in there. Okay. Let's put the girls back in. I didn't actually find the queen, but this many bees, I'm not real good at finding, to be honest. But I found signs of the queen. Also, signs of the Dr. Swarm, which I'm less happy about, but I do need that uh, queen cell to save my other one. I'm going to seal back up and I'm going to get into the yolk.